Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the Flower Power Art Challenge hosted by Dina Tullifson. I will have a link to Dina's channel in the description of this video. I encourage all of my art enthusiasts, friends, and subscribers to go check her channel out. She will have a playlist with all of the um, submissions all in one place. There's already been a nearly a hundred people added to the playlist already and I've got about five or six videos in myself of you know watching the videos and there's so much talent like um, Layla she did some hydrangeas and Bee Blossom Studios which oh my gosh she inspired me to do my piece today but she did a um, Mario themed a watercolor painting for the challenge and I absolutely adore it and it's not one of those like video game themed uh, art pieces that's like in your face references it's really subtle right so like she did her own version of the fire flower she did like some um, red and yellow flower in a Mario warp pipe vase and in the background on the wall she did a picture frame with Princess Peach's castle in it and it's so cute and I love it I was so tickled when I saw the video and I was reading the description and I was like I knew it I knew this was a Mario theme piece and um I was like <laughs> super like happy to get that like validation right because it wasn't just in my head like like this is Mario you know what I mean <laughs> no she straight up was in the description talking about like yeah she was inspired by Mario and I was like cool 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 um, <laughs> so um I was telling her I was like you've totally inspired me I'm gonna shout you out in the video so yeah y'all go check out B's uh, Blossom Studios uh, channel I will also link her channel in the description of this video as well so you'll have Dina and you'll have Blossom just back to back if y'all are so inclined I mean you know you don't have to but I encourage it you know especially if you're into art um, they're both very talented artists um, and so what inspired me was the actual video game concept you know because leading up to that point I hadn't um, figured out what I wanted to do yet and um, so then you know she got into my head I'm thinking all right cool video game character right so I'm scrolling through Google looking at female video game characters and of course I fell back on my absolute favorite video game series The Legend of Zelda so I had to choose Zelda and I'm looking at all the princesses and I chose the link to the past Princess Zelda. She's one of my favorite ones. She's just got a really beautiful design. She's simple. Um, she looks kind of, you know, meek a little bit. And her dress is giving like Princess Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Like in the beginning of the movie, she's got like the blue and, and white, you know, with the apron. That's what it's giving, right? <laughs> and I love that about it. Um, so the biggest challenge of designing the character's dress was staying true to Princess Zelda's original dress design, but also implementing the flower, which is the whole point of the challenge, right? I chose the Silent Princess flower from Breath of the Wild. The color scheme of the flower matched perfectly with uh, Zelda's dress already because it's blue and white as, as well. And it's got these really long uh, pointed petals. I want to say there's five petals to work with. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think there were five petals. Um, so yeah, like also not only implementing the parts of the flower into the dress, but I also wanted to play around with posing and create like a flow like I didn't want to just draw a static character I wanted her to feel more dynamic so as I was sketching I remembered to try to stay loose with my sketch lines and um, I ended up moving her feet around a little bit and just tweaking some things here and there but I think it came up with a really nice design for her and one of my favorite things about this Zelda in particular is her hair. Like she's got this really cool, like sharp squared out bang with like a widow's peak in the middle. And she's got these cute little like flyaway pieces in the back. 
against like her long, long, long straight hair. And I kind of liked that whole layered. I just think it's really cute, honestly. And she's obviously got like her signature, like little bits in front of her pointed ears too. Um, so Zelda, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I really loved playing with the flow of her hair and just the way the bangs ended up landing around her face. I just think that they turned out really cute. Um, I even played with her face a little bit. Um, I gave her a different type of eye shape. I elongated her eyelashes. Um, I wanted to um, do a different type of a lip than what I normally would do. Uh, just this whole piece was all about kind of experimenting and having fun. Um, since I'm meshing up a... Uh, uh, two different type of Zelda elements, I might as well just stylize it while I'm at it and just go all out. You know what I mean? I was struggling with the hand that's closest to her face. So I ended up hiding it in her hair. <laughs> it's like, if you can't see it, then you can't see all my mistakes. Okay. <laughs> just like there's like a little pinky, like peeking out and that's about it. <laughs> the other hand was much easier to draw. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I ended up putting the petals of the flower at the base of her dress, you know, like the bottom of it that became the whole bottom of the dress, but I wanted to keep that pleated skirt and I fanned it out. Like I fanned it upwards. Um, and I think that alone really helped sell the whole movement aspect of her whole dress, you know? Uh, I think that just turned out so good. I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud of how it turned out. And the original flower, yes, it's blue and white, but I also played around the, the, with the design of the blue on the petals. So I made them really bubbly and I did like two different types of blues there to kind of give it a little bit of depth. And um, for the green leaves, at the base of the flower like I stuck them in with her belt you know and the the little stem uh stymen or I don't know the, the little the little green thing sticking out of the middle of the flower I don't know what they're called <laughs> um it has like these little like you know where the um the pollen is it has like these little yellow bulbs you know so I put that part on her feet. So that became like her shoes and they wrap around her legs kind of like a long gladiator. And then they make a cute little bow on her calf. And I just thought that turned out like really dainty and cute as well. Um, so yeah, I love how the whole thing turned out. I think her head ended up being just a little bit too big. I could have made her head just a little smaller. And I did struggle a little bit with like the collar and where her neck and the collar meet. Um, but I'm really proud of like the whole piece as a whole. So it's not like these tiny little mistakes like make me hate it or anything. I, I really like how it turned out. And I am proud of myself. Like I said, I, I like that I try to do something that's different, kind of out of the box. And um, obviously the whole video game thing, just like it's right up my alley too. So uh, thank you again, Blossom, for doing it first. <laughs> so you really helped me out. Another art YouTuber that inspired me with this piece is the girls from Guild of the Flying Tortoise. I just watched their last video and I really love how they were playing around with different geometric shapes in their backgrounds. And when I was coming up with the background for my piece here, I was thinking of them the whole time. Um, like me and my friend were kind of chit chatting. Um, I was on the phone with my friend and she was suggesting that I do like a forest scene and I was like, man, here's the thing, like, that does sound pretty, but that would be a whole lot of work that I, one, don't feel like doing. But two, it might take away from the subject, and because she's kind of floating in the air, she's not really standing, um, I, I didn't know 
how I was going to make it look natural. And I didn't want it to take away from the subject. So I was like, I got to do something else. So then I thought of Guild and I thought, well, I could do something with some geometric shapes and that would give a background, like a stylized background that with solid colors that I could play into the theme and it could accentuate the character rather than compete with the character, you know? So I chose this deep foresty green and I made a square and I added these like just artistic little lines going around the edges of the square in different um, thicknesses. And then I took the Triforce, which is three triangles, but I dissected it and I just kind of put them around the character so that they aided to the flow of her, you know? And uh, I think like overall it turned out like really good. I love the piece. Oh my gosh, I'm just like cheesing about it. Like it's so cute. Like I just want to print it out and put it on my wall, okay? <laughs> like I'm so happy with how she turned out. And um, so anyway, that's that's the whole thing. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. Once again, y'all go check out the playlist because like there's so much so many talented artists out there. I can't wait. Like I said, once I'm done with this, I'm going to edit my video. I'm going to post it on YouTube. And then I'm going to go sit down with a bowl of popcorn and a water. And I'm just going to scroll and I'm going to watch them all, you know, like have myself a little YouTube movie night. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to comment on the videos and just give people encouragement and love and show them that like, they did a really good job on their pieces as well. So yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Um, bye.